Hi folks and welcome back. I'm out on a, an overnight camp tonight. I've got some food to cook and I've got a new bivvy bag that I want to try out. Well, I found myself a place to set up. I'm very close to a public footpath here, very close, just feet away. <laughs> um, but uh, I found some bushes that I can tuck myself away behind, so I should be um, unseen, hopefully. This wasn't the intended video for this weekend. I was supposed to be walking the next leg of the Norfolk coastal footpath. I started it in, uh, in the spring, having finished the Pedder's Way, and I was hoping to walk between Wells and Cromer this weekend. However, I injured my knee yesterday at work, so uh, I didn't think it was a good idea for me to be walking 30 odd miles on uneven ground and along beaches and things with a with a bad knee. So I've decided to come out to this local bit of woodland instead and um, I can try out this bivvy that I've been itching to try. So there we are, all set up. It's a nice, stealthy, low profile design, ideal for those wild camps where you don't want to be seen. And the um, obviously the camouflage helps with that as well. Um, I've got a dry bag just at the end there, um, so I can put stuff in there overnight so it doesn't get wet. There's quite a lot of room inside the bivvy bag, much more than in most, certainly in most commercial ones. Um, so you can keep a lot of gear inside there with you, but obviously, Whatever I keep in the dry bag will give me w more room inside. Then I've just got a little foam kneel pad just so I've got somewhere to stand while I'm taking my boots on and off while I'm getting in and out. So that should do just the job. I've collected some twigs, enough to cook on. Luckily there was a, a hawthorn tree right next to where I'm camped, dead, um, or certainly some dead limbs on it, and I was able to just snap off stuff that I could reach, which was which was brilliant, and it was all off the ground and bone dry. So that should burn well. Hawthorn burns well anyway. It's um it's a good, hot, slow burner. So that'll be ideal for, for cooking on. For my dinner, I'm gonna have noodles. So I'm gonna need to boil some water and cook those noodles first. And then I'm going to cook up some pork belly slices, which I'll slice up and put over the top. So I'm going to need the embers for cooking the meat, and then I'll build the fire back up again afterwards.
Cheers. Whoa, that was getting a little bit fierce there. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it's not burnt, it's caramelized. Oh, and uh, a little bit of hot sauce. And I thought this fitting because it's a bit of an Asian theme. This has got Szechuan peppers, star anise, ginseng. It's got all sorts of nice goodies in here. I don't want to go too mental because the last time I did that, I nearly died. Oh yeah. Oh, you can really taste the star anise in the hot sauce. That is delicious. That can definitely take a bit more. It's really nice. While I was out this evening, I wanted to show you a new torch I've been sent uh, from Olight. You'll have seen me using their torches before. I've got um, a head torch, well, this one, um, which I've been using for some time and it's just a superb torch. Really bright, rechargeable, lasts forever on a charge, it seems, as long as you don't have it on the turbo mode. Um, but the turbo mode is there when you need it, you know, super, super bright. Um, they've sent me a new torch. This is the M2R Pro Warrior and it is a beast of a torch. It's still a relatively small handheld torch as you can see um, but superbly powerful. It has an on-off switch on the side of the torch and also one on the end so you can turn it on and you can access all of the functions of the torch from either end. It has the usual light settings. There's a, a moon setting which is just about one lumen and it will last for days and days and days and days on that setting. And then there are various light settings that you can just toggle through by pressing the button down. The turbo mode is a blinding 1800 lumens. That'll have a throw of about 300 meters. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't think you need a torch brighter than that really, do you? This is, this is a serious bit of kit. As with most of the Olight torches, it's rechargeable and it has a magnetic charging point on the back, like most of the range. And this one has a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery in it, which it needs obviously because of the because of the output. It comes with the usual Olight features, like the like the clip, which is a clever design. It clips both ways, so it's actually kind of doubled over. You can clip it that way, or you can clip it that way. And it comes with a lanyard and a nice holster that you can clip onto your belt. It has this nice aggressive knurled hand grip so gripping it isn't going to be a problem even with gloves on. This is a high-end professional torch and the quality is reflected in the price. They are expensive um, but I just want to let you know that Olight are having a big sale, a 
Black Friday sale coming up on the 28th of November and there will definitely be bargains to be had. So go and check them out. Olight have been really good to me by sending me samples obviously to show in, in videos and for me to use and to review. And um, you know, they've just been they've just been great. They're a great company. Um, you know, the quality of their products is is second to none. Well, it just wouldn't be a camp without one of these. <laughs> so I'm going to get some I'm going to get some water on to boil and have a hot chocolate before turning in for the night. These little twig stoves, they do chuck out a bit of warmth. It's not like having a big proper campfire, but you know, it's a bit of warmth, it's a bit of light. And uh well, it's just nice. I really enjoyed that hot chocolate. The twigs in the twig stove are nearly burnt through. I used up all of the twigs that I collected earlier. So that was good, that kept it going all evening. But uh, it's getting late and I'm pretty tired so I'm gonna turn in. In the morning I'll show you a bit more of my uh, sleep system and the bivy bag and, and the other stuff I, I brought. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn in. So I'll see you folks in the morning. Good night. Morning folks, I uh, slept very well, very comfortable, warm, and uh, there's a surprising amount of space in that bivy bag. It's much bigger than 
bivy bags I've used and have got. I'm planning on doing a video on bivy bags at some point because I've collected a few over the years and I really like them. I think they're great for sort of low profile stealth camping and they're, they're really light, you know, so for backpacking trips they're ideal. <sighs> Coffee's good. I've got a piece of pork belly left over from last night. I didn't, um, I didn't have enough room on the grill to fit them all on, so I've got one here all seasoned up from last night. So I'm going to put that on now and have that for my breakfast. I know it's not a lot, but that'll do till I get home. So uh, yeah, on it goes. Well, that is me done. Breakfasted, I've had my coffee, and um, it's time to get things packed away. But before I do that, there's one last thing I need to do, um, and that's to do the prize draw for the hot tank giveaway. Firstly, let me just apologize for not responding to the comments. Um, there, were just, there were just too many of them. There were two and a half thousand entries, <laughs> and I just didn't have, didn't physically have time to go through them all and and read them all and respond to them all. So I'm sorry about that. Um, what I'm going to do is use a, a random uh, comment picker on my phone um, to select a winner, and then we'll see who it gets sent out to. This competition was open internationally, so it doesn't matter whereabouts you live. You know, if you win, I'll send it to you. I don't know how well you can see the screen with reflections from above, but this is using commentpicker.com and um, it's very straightforward. You just go in, you put in the the URL of the video, in this case the, the hot tank giveaway, and um, and then it just picks a winner from all of the comments. It, uh, it filters out um, duplicate comments, so if one person puts in more than one comment, it only picks the first one. So it's just going through them at the moment here. 1200, 1300, 1400, 15, 16, 1700. Picking out all the comments, filtering them. 2444 comments, unique ones. So let's see who our winner is. Congratulations, Captain Phil. His comment reads I'm in Simon, life begins in the woods. I couldn't agree more. Um, get your contact de details to me, Phil. Uh, you can contact me through Messenger or email me. Um, my details are in the description at the bottom of the video. And um, we'll, we'll talk and get it shipped out to you. Thanks everybody else for taking part. You know, there were, yeah, there were huge amounts of entries and um, you know, it's massively appreciated. Thanks for watching the video. I, I wanted it to be a, a bit of a sort of secret, secret competition, if you like. Um, I found in the past that if you if you put giveaway or competition or anything like that in the video title you get people coming from all over the place who, who aren't even remotely interested in bushcraft or outdoor activities um, they just want to win competitions so I wanted to avoid that which is why I did it the way I did so um, yeah thank you all for watching and, and taking part and once again a massive thank you to One Tigress for providing the tent for the giveaway very generous thank you so I'll just quickly show you my setup from last night this is a Dutch Army Gore-Tex hooped bivy bag um, it unzips around the, the hoop bit here and along the bottom so you can open it right up, which is great for ease of getting in and out. This is air permeable Gore-Tex, so it's really highly breathable, but you can, you can keep part of, the, part of the hooped part here unzipped because there's a huge uh, kind of storm flap here. So, you know, ventilation isn't a problem. You can just keep a section unzipped and you've got plenty of air in there, but it's really good. It's really spacious. Um, you know, I was sleeping on a, Quite a thick mattress here. This is a Thermarest Neo Air. They're nearly two inches thick when inflated, and um, despite being that much higher off the ground, there was plenty of room. I was able to roll over easily, and I was really comfortable. Lots of space. I was also able to get a lot of gear in the end here, including my boots and my coat and my camera and stuff like that that I didn't want outside. Um, so that was good. That worked really well. Sleeping bag wise, I've got a. A mountain hardware Lamina 35. This has a temperature rating down to about zero, just above. 
Um, so for this time of year, that was all right. The forecast was only to get down to about five degrees cent centigrade yesterday. So that was fine. I was toasty and warm in that. I used my wool shirt as a pillow. And then, like I said, I've got a Thermarest Neowear X-Therm uh, sleeping mattress. These things are fantastic. They're expensive, but they are really, really warm and really comfortable. A lot of people criticize them because they're narrow and, and quite, quite rustly. I don't find the rustliness a problem. They are a little bit on the narrow side, but you kind of get used to that. And in a bivy bag, it's not a problem because you're, you're kind of held in place by the bivy, bivy bag itself, if you see what I mean. And I've never found that I've slipped off one, but they are, they are really comfortable. There you go, very little evidence of me being here apart from a slightly dry patch of leaves where my bivy bag was and a bit muddy there where, where I was sitting and standing. There's my gear just over there, tripod and my all my kit all squared away. Time to go home and rest up my wonky knee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.